Let's go! Guys, today I am going to explain something extremely important. If you are a Bitcoin trader, if you are trading any cryptocurrency at all, you need to watch this entire video. Trust me, what I am going to tell you about today is what is going to be the difference between a winning trade and a losing trade. Someone making money in the market as opposed to someone losing money in the market, giving all of that money lost to the winners of the market. So if you want to be a winner in the market, you need to watch this video. And we are going to talk about Bitcoin from a technical standpoint. Of course, we are going to be talking also about the trade here from the orange box up 70% so far on the 10x leverage. That's fantastic. We're talking about Ethereum, Cardano, general stuff you need to know. But welcome back, guys. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day. And yes, today is a very important day. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe right now because a couple of days ago, I told you about the drop in Bitcoin and then I became very bullish as we were approaching my orange box right here. And I am putting my money where my word is and I am buying this dip and now we are riding it to the upside. And everyone who have been with me on this ride, you know that our strategy from the very beginning was to see how many of these areas we could claim. And I would not be surprised to see us go up to this area at 57,500, but I'm actually going to take profit on this trade today, just like I said on Twitter. So before we get into the most important stuff, let's talk about Bitcoin quickly from a technical level. So on the one hour, you can see that we are in a impulsive, explosive upside trend here, uh, which is very nice to see. So what you can see is that we are consistently making higher highs, higher lows. And yeah, we did have some trouble right at this area at 52,000. Yeah, basically at my orange line. Rejection one, two, three times right here. But then we went down, made a higher low. Again, rejection. But we only went down on the actual, uh, on the actual candle and then we catapulted upwards. Perfect retest. And I actually said this on Twitter yesterday. This is so beautiful from a technical standpoint, reclaiming this area like this because we had a pump, we went down, we retested it one, two times, confirming the uh, conquer of this area, so to speak. And then another big impulsive move to the upside. But then we actually got a kind of a decent rejection here from 55,684 right down. So we didn't manage to break my uh, second orange line here. And then since then, we have also had one, two, three uh, more rejections. So are we going to see another big impulsive move to the upside? And are we going to be able to break this level? Well, that is what everyone are watching right now. But so far, everything is looking good for Bitcoin. And now I need to talk about... Let's first talk about Ethereum, because why not? Also, of course, an impulsive move on Ethereum going right at my orange or close to my uh, actually blue line here. Uh, but then we are seeing some rejections right here as well. But Ethereum is looking decent and I think that Ethereum is going to do well. In fact, on my channel yesterday, I posted why Ethereum will explode during the next couple of months. And yeah, I think Ethereum is going to do well, but there are some delays for some of the stuff I was talking about in this video. So yeah, of course, always delays with Ethereum, but eventually, <laughs> eventually, right? I think that Ethereum is going to do very well. And once the gas problems, once there's actually optimism, uh, no pun intended, uh, towards uh, the gas problem actually being solved on Ethereum, money is just going to flood into Ethereum. It's going to flood into Ethereum and we are going to take down all of these levels, how crazy as it may sound right now. But yes, that is what I am anticipating for Cardano and a huge couple of candles here on Cardano actually. And this is also beautiful, look at this. We had a couple of massive green candles. How big was this? We went up by 14% in three hours, completely insane. And yeah, we crushed this level. Well, we met some resistance right here, but then, you know, we met some resistance at this orange line. So we met resistance, I mean, on the orange lines, definitely here, here, but then big, massive green candle once we clear this area. And then look at this, uh, retest and the orange line holding up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine times holding up the uh, Cardano price before going down and now this orange line at $1.16 holding it up and now we are meeting resistance at $1.20. So guys, it doesn't have to be more uh, complicated than this. Of course, if you've been following me on my channel, you already know about these lines, but I mean, it's usually very high probability moves 
to buy at the orange lines and then you know just ride it up to the next orange line or whatever take profit or in this case like buy in right here once we're breaking this seven percent and buy in off of the off of the orange line here two percent what is this another three percent on this candle right here you had three percent on this candle all of these candles i mean they are pretty much two three percent on each of these candles buying off of the orange line so that's pretty cool. You know what to look out for, guys. As always, I am going to keep you updated. Now, on a grander scheme, we made a new all-time high yesterday in the S&P 500. So this is looking really good. Everything is looking good for the crypto markets right now. I cannot lie. But now I need to talk about the most important thing in this video. And yesterday, I was still seeing people expecting a drop to $48,000 or $42,000 today or tomorrow. And so my question was, who has been pumping this into your head? You are probably better off unfollowing that kind of FUD. Just my two cents. And I mean, is it impossible for Bitcoin to drop to $48,000 or $42,000? Of course not. It can drop like that. But to have that drop within two days and within one day actually of it being up here, which we were yesterday, it's completely insane. I mean, first off, you have my orange box right here. This is always going to be very strong. And then also, we were already coming from a drop of 12%. So you're going to see an additional, I mean, in the case of $48,000, additional 5% or an additional 14% or 15% in the case of $42,000. That would be a total drop of 26% within pretty much one day, which is even for Bitcoin, very rare, especially when you have all of these uh, resist support levels uh, supporting the Bitcoin price as well. So is it impossible for that to happen? It can happen. Obviously, it can happen. We have. Seen, uh, I saw Bitcoin drop from ten thousand dollars to four thousand dollars, more than fifty percent in just a couple of pretty much two three hours. So yes, it is possible. But given the current circumstances, someone claiming this is just. I mean, it's just straight fud. They are keeping you poor in this market. This is just. Again, it's just my two cents, but I just want to reiterate that. And seeing a $42,000 Bitcoin, I mean, yes, of course, I think that is actually possible and it's likely that we are going to see that in the bear market. But right now we are in the middle of a raging bull market. And saying that we are going to drop to $48,000 or $42,000 without f first having a massive, uh, massive relief rally at my orange box here at the edge of it, it's just FUD. Nothing goes straight down and these levels are what you need to pay attention to. And then I was actually surprised because some of the comments to this was like, but you were saying that Ethereum was going to drop to $800 uh, within a couple of days. So someone's, I mean, for those people who said that I have claimed that Ethereum is going to drop to $800, those are the people who, and I'm trying to help you guys, trust me. Those are the people who are going to lose money in this market. And I will tell you why. I think what people are referring to is uh, this video right here. Ethereum and Bitcoin holders, I need to warn you. And of course, this warning was coming uh, after I had already warned you about the big drop coming. And you did see that. I warned you from $60,000. You see, did see that drop, obviously. But what did I say in this Bitcoin where people or in this video where people were saying that I was claiming $800 Ethereum is for sure. Well, let us play that part of the video. As you can see, we're coming from an uptrend. We're making the first high right here. We're going down. We're making a second slightly lower high, which I like to see with these M patterns. And then we are going down. And where is the neckline going to be in order for us to see if this is actually going to be a correct M pattern? Well, we need to break the uh, 1,413 level. Guys, with these M patterns and these double tops, you don't get into a trade and say, oh, this is an M pattern. I'm going to get in. No, you wait until the pattern is actually formed. This can become whatever until it is actually formed. It can, you know, the bit, the Ethereum price can uh, go up and, you know, do something like this in case it's going to be a uh, descending triangle. It can do something completely different. Until we see this break right here, this is not an M pattern. You need to see a close down below here. So with that said, if this is going to be a fully executed M pattern, the target from this is the previous all-time high down to the neckline. And that is, it's telling us $839 on this M pattern. Um, but here's the thing. Of course, before we get to this level, if this is even going to be the case, we are going to see um, all of my support levels 
uh, support the price, right? So you're going to have relief rallies. It's not going to be a straight line down. If we are going to get to the $800 uh, level, well, you have the orange box right here. You have all of these blue levels and you are going to be able to react accordingly. So I'm not trying to fed spread FUD. It's a big if, remember, until we see the price go down here and break it, this is not an M pattern. So I'm just going to give you that heads up. And what is this wick? But I hope that you understand the difference now between me calling a $800 Ethereum and what you just watched in this video. It's completely different. And understanding that difference is what is going to keep you either profitable in this market or losing in this market. So please be a winner in this market. And here's the thing, guys. We had our strategy from the very beginning. We were looking at how many of these areas, how many of these orange boxes we could reclaim. But we had our uh, entry price. As you know, I am sharing all of my entries with you. So if you were appreciating all of that stuff, if you were appreciating me, giving very transparent, uh, not instructions, but just keeping you informed on whatever I am doing, and I don't urge anyone to follow me blindly, learn trading, but... I have from the very beginning told you which levels I'm entering at and the full strategy going forward. So I don't think that you are interested in just watching that position, you know, stay in uh, as it is right now. I think that you are looking for the next level of trade. So I posted on Twitter, I am going to be closing this 100% uh, profitable trade tomorrow. And I'm not going to call this a 100% profitable trade moving forward. What I am going to do is I am going to call it a just a regular swing trade. Uh, so because people are, you know, I don't know. Uh, but from now on, swing trade, we have been 100% profitable on all of those swing trades so far. Um, so I think we have done seven with these two uh, right now included. So I'm going to go ahead and close those because I think that you are just more interested in having new trades like this and uh, yeah, uh, keeping up to date with that. And also I would appreciate if you enjoy this type of content, you can go down and share this video. Just click copy, copy the link, share it with anyone you think is going to find value. And also, if you want to start trading yourself, you've got $200 on Bybit, $200 on Femex, $988 on C-Trade. You're supporting the channel and also you're able to take advantage of these nice bonuses. And by the way, guys, if you have been making money on the orange box and buying and then riding it to the upside, let me know down in the comment section. And I am going to be moving on to the next one. As always, you are going to be able to follow me along. There we go. Both of them closed at a profit and we are moving on to the next setup. Let's quickly talk about the pattern we have been following recently. So I would say that yes, we have reached the bottom right here. We are uh, just a couple of hundred dollars off. So that's nice. But what you can actually see also is that we are actually following this now to the upside. So let's see if this is going to still follow along here and we are going to see a parabolic move to the upside just like we saw previously. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you got value out of it. I hope that you understand the importance of uh, uh, what I wanted to convey in this video and make sure to watch the rest of the videos on the channel as well. But until then, I will see you in the next one.